Any day now, Nalcor will flood the first 25% of the Muskrat Falls Reservoir. This against the backdrop of continuing protests about the environmental impact methylmercury will have once the flooding occurs. There are opportunities to further reduce methylmercury levels if more forest cover is removed. Today, the provincial government responded to the protesters agreeing to remove more of the forest cover and look at the possibility of removing the soil from the 75% of the reservoir that won't be immediately flooded. Dr. Trevor Bell is a professor of geography at Memorial University. He's one of the people who was involved in an independent study that identified potential problems with methylmercury at the Muskrat Falls Project. He's joining me now live in the studio. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Dr. Bell, Minister Trimper uh, says he's asking Nalcor to remove more forest cover, as he puts it, to, uh, to reduce the levels of methylmercury. What do you think? Well, I think any move to clear vegetation and soils from the reservoir is a positive response. Um, I think our research shows that the soils are probably more important than the, than the trees. But I think his promise that uh, we would actually investigate what the effects of the soils will be and how we could feasibly clear them is a positive response. I think his promise today was to remove the vegetation as I understand it. Um, he's looking at a, a round table of experts to look at the possibility of removing this soil. Hasn't your group already looked into, um, I suppose, the ramifications of leaving that soil there when, once it's flooded? We know in general what the results would be if we leave the soil there, but I think it's a matter of working out where do we remove the soil, how deep do we remove it, how much of it. I think that's something that really is site specific and we need to go into the region and actually do those individual measurements. And I think we've asked for that in, in previous uh, discussions and I think this is a positive response that we're actually he, he's open to that and will actually take the advice from that uh, independent expert group. Have you any idea uh, who will make up that uh, independent expert group? I can only say that we've suggested that it be representatives that even from all the stakeholders, from the Aboriginal groups, from NALCOR, from the universities, I think that would be very important. But I think if everybody is not involved, if they're not got a stake in it, then of course it's very easy to, to put that research to the side. I think what the minister needs to consider, even as he develops his own monitoring program, that he doesn't think of you know, the Harvard monitoring as separate from the government water monitoring. It needs to all be considered together. We need to, everybody needs to be invest in the design of it and therefore have a vested interest in the results and how, it, how they appear. He said today what he's suggesting, what he's implementing is unique in terms of North American, Canadian, possibly international uh, hydro power projects. How unique uh, is the situation uh, at Muskrat Falls, the Churchill River and into um, Lake Melville? I think there's two ways it's unique. I think the, the actual setting itself, I think we have a lot more of the fuel in the soil that actually fuels the the metal mercury production and we have a very unique estuary downstream from it so those conditions make it unlike any other situation so he needs to do extraordinary things the second thing of course is with metal mercury itself every time we do more studies we we detect it at lower and lower levels we realize that it has harmful impacts so it really pushes the minister to say we need to be put designing a monitoring program that has the lowest detection limits of ever, ever uh, engineered before across Canada in these sorts of assessments and monitoring programs because we if we cannot if we don't have detection limits we then cannot establish baseline we cannot determine change he said something curious he raised a point at the end of the news conference saying that in effect that whole area has been a, an experiment for decades now because of what happened in the upper Churchill um, that people have been consuming the, 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 the country food um, in that area for decades. Um, what, what do you, how do you respond to that? I hate to be a bit of a broken record, but it comes back to the soil organics. Yeah. We know that the soil organics are higher in that area around Gull Island and the Muskrat Falls. So that is uh, generating much more metal mercury production than even up at the Smallwood Reservoir. Mm -hmm. So 
And also we can't directly compare because really we didn't take any baseline measurements back in the 70s. We didn't do follow-up monitoring. We hope that we have learned from that and that we will now do that sort of baseline and take that precautionary approach. All right, Dr. Trevor Bell, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.